The Canadian music scene is Alberta bound. A mega project, years in the making, is nearing completion. Canada's new National Music Centre promises to be a state-of-the-art home for all forms of music. The CBC's Aaron Collins gives us a sneak peek. Well, as you can clearly see, construction of Canada's new National Music Centre is really heading into the home stretch. And today we're lucky enough to get a sneak peek of the progress behind the scenes. Let's have a look. Now, when this centre is done, it will house about 160,000 square feet of studios, live music venues, collections and artefacts, including three of Canada's music halls of fame. Now, Andrew Mosker, the head of this project, says that when it is done, it will be a hub for Canadian music and musicians, drawing them here to Calgary from across Canada. Artists from Canada and from around the world will come here to record and compose, showcase new music across the musical spectrum using our incredible collection of musical instruments and sound equipment. Now this new state of the art facility will also have a connection to the past, incorporating the old King Eddie Hotel blues venue into the structure. And performances on the stage at the King Eddie will actually be recorded by the world famous Rolling Stones mobile studio, which will be housed at the center as well. It's so much more than a performing arts facility. It's so much more than a museum. It's so much more than a recording studio or broadcast center, but it borrows some of the best elements from all of those structures and brings them into one space. Now this project isn't quick and it isn't cheap. It's been under construction for more than two years and it will cost close to $200 million by the time it is done. And there is still some money to be raised. The hope is to have this centre and its venues up and running by the end of March, just in time for this city to host the Junos in April. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary.